Hello everybody, I'm Just Games, and welcome to Manor Lords. Um, I have been playing this game a lot, slightly addicted, maybe not. But um, yeah, I thought we'd just start a, uh, a nice casual series um, on this game. See how far we can we can go, and um, and yeah, so we're going to a new game. Now here we can select our name, our sort of uh, portrait. Um, I'm going to go with one that is closest to me, which is that. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Name all sorted out. Um, and then we can choose our sort of coat of arms, which is uh, very cool. Um, we're going to go with the basic one for, uh, for our sort of playthrough. Um... I quite like that one in the uh, the background there, and then you can sort of adjust it, and um, yeah, I think that looks good. Three, we we'll go three point four, um, and then our actual sort of logo. What do we want to have it as? I think we'll do. Hmm. I'm not sure because I don't want. I don't. What on earth? <laughs> oh, okay, we need to do this one. There we go, we have like, three of them, make them a little bit bigger. There we go, that is our coat of arms, our uh, primary colour. It's going to be our usual, usual colours there, and uh, we'll keep that same, there we go. So we continue, and now we can uh, we can choose sort of what sort of game we want to uh, want to play. We're going to leave it with default, restoring the peace, which basically, as you can see here, two territories in the north are claimed by illegitimate baron, whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace. When ready, challenge the baron of the northern territories. And then sort of the win condition, is uh, you have to conquer every region, uh, which is uh, it was very fun. We're gonna leave everything on default, as you can see there. Default, everything the same, and um, and let's begin. So let's see what uh, starting tile we um, we get. See what is actually in that starting tile as well, because um, that the resource nodes are different with every single um, new game. So immediately, let's pause and let's uh, read this new message. Victory Kitchen Dominance, build up your own town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once the claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Oh, I don't know what accent that was. Um, oh, we actually got in a, um, a corner piece. I do like starting in the corner pieces. Um, just, it's nice, you know, you don't have to worry about two sides, you know? Well, with it, if you're in the middle one, you have, like, three sides to worry about from, my like, incoming attacks. Um, so yeah, our starting tile has got some berries, it's got some wild animals, clay, a little bit of iron, a little bit of clay, but stone is our sort of main one. Um... Oh, this one here is actually a horrible um, starting tile. Because I usually like to have the the animals and the berries in like, the close quarters, just to make it easier. But we'll have to, um, have to do. So this is our starting camp here. We get um, one ox with us and five families here. Now, unassigned families will just be turned into builders. And then, aside families, um, manage the, the actual sort of buildings. So, um, we're going to build off into this region here, I think. Or, I think we might start off down here. Uh, oh, I don't know, because we want to have the berries close to our sort of main town area. Or the food near our main town area. So, um, it's less transport. So maybe we can start here, in this nice little area, down here, so not ridiculously too far from um, from the wild animals. 
So let's do that then, eh? Let's, um, let's build out a little region. Because uh, basically what we want is, um, if we build this up down, then we can get a, uh, almost 90 degree. Basically we want to start out with building a logging camp. Logging camps get you timber, and that's basically what we use to build everything, essentially. Um, so I think we're going to do that here, which serves this area around here. So we chop down all these trees. We then want a, uh, a forester's hut next to it. I am going to build a road down here also, just to have it um, not all across like this one sort of main road here. And then these will take one family each. So essentially we've got three families left to uh, left sort of to spare. Um, but we do want a source of food. So what uh, we are going to do is I'm going to build the Hunter's Heart quite close. But we're going to make sure we don't build it in this region here. Because if we build in this region or we build too much in this region, the animals will migrate and go somewhere else. Uh, which is obviously not a thing we want. Um, so I think we'll do that there. That is, uh, that's close enough. And then we also do want some, um, a woodcutter. Because that gets us firewood. But that's only handy if, um, when we start getting houses. So as you can see here, all of our families are, uh, are off to uh, to build the stuff and the things, you know. So we're going to leave this on two times, and um, this is going to be sort of a mainly unedited series, since so like most of my videos, as of late, are going to be unedited. But I really do like the unedited feel of, um, especially these like casual games here, where it's not too much going on at once. You sort of just talk, but. Um, yeah, obviously, if you have more families um, unassigned, obviously they become builders, and the faster stuff uh, stuff gets built, which is nice. And you can see here the ox is taking the um, the spare timber we have in our supplies here into our um, logging camp because this requires two logs to be built. But we've got a new message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honour against those who wrong me. Or who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me for the rumours and slanders that me, some may, oh good lord, spread about me. Which I'm right back. And, um, for our first encounter, we can't do anything. So, we will do, um, here, we'll drop that in. You have no rightful claim to um, the two tiles he's currently got um, here, got claim of. So uh, there we go, put that back to two times the speed. <clears throat> so yeah, the start of this game is slow, but I do like the sort of slow progress of games. It's just nice, you know? Um. I want to put this on high, so you can uh, prioritise construction priority. Uh, it's currently on medium, but obviously we've set this to high now, so the builders will focus on this a little bit more. Because we do start out with um, with some food, but obviously that's not going to last. So we'll get you on there immediately. Now you can set the hunting limit. Uh, we've got it set to 10, so we can only hunt half of um, the animal population, of course, obviously, you don't want to kill off the entire animal population because that will, well, that's not going to do uh, anyone any good. So, um, yep, yeah, these hunters now. We're going to do, we're going to sign a work area just to uh, make sure you know, he does work in that region. But yeah, you should uh, start heading out. And uh, again, some meat. Logging cap will assign you. So, what a really good th um, thing to do with all these tiles 
is sort of specialize it from what you actually have, um, like rich deposit wise. So we've got a rich stone deposit. So we're going to go for the more the mining and farming route because um, farming is also key as well because we haven't got any rich deposits here. So we are going to need more of uh, of that. Um, we're also, I think, I see if this works. Let's build a forager's hut, which are the ones responsible for getting the berries. Uh, we'll do that over there. <clears throat> and we'll assign you a work area of, uh, around there, there we go. So, later on, when people start actually having stuff to sell, they would actually require a market. Um, and it's very simple to make things. You go to residential and then marketplace right here. You don't, you don't want to make the marketplaces too big. So if we make a, a nice little um, sort of market establishment right here. That's three locations of markets. We want it a little bit bigger. So I think if we do here. Nine or thirteen. We'll do thirteen. Crop that down. And then the residents will naturally um, start setting up stalls. If they have uh, something to sell. We'll assign you. Limited work area, we'll do that as well, so it replaces the trees that this logging camp um, takes up. And, um, yeah, we should wait for things to get built. Now, you do want to build houses or as quick as possible. Um, because if no one has houses, your approval rating will go down. And you'll need at least 50% 50, 50 or more approval rate for more people to uh, to move into your town. So, currently minus 5% uh, approval rating. So, definitely need to get some houses built once we get a little bit more timber. So, a good sort of thing to start off with is just having one family as uh, as builder so if you've got that you know you've set everything up um correctly this is a this is very far away but we do need the berries because also people prefer um food variety as well um which also improves approval rating basically all, almost everything you do um affects approval rating so just make sure you uh, you keep an eye on that um, also you kind of want to sort of, not rush, but you do want to get the, the, uh, the church as quick as you can. Um, because this really stabilizes your approval rating and even, like, boosts it a lot. Which obviously we need for more people to get in. Um, so, what I think I'm actually going to do is, we need, t uh, we need planks, actually. So, we are... Going to build a saw pit. Um, we'll build it next to our logging camp, so not much travel. So the logs here, or the logs we've uh, we've cut down as spare, will go over to the saw pit, and they'll then make uh, make planks into it, which is obviously a the last thing. Um, so yeah, we have six spare, so we do want to start building some houses now. So obviously in the residential here. And what I love about this game is that it's all modular. Um, so basically you just set out where you want to build some houses. And, um, and yeah, it will just build as many as it can. Obviously we haven't got enough goods. Uh, we do, you do actually want to have, um... The extensions here. Let me place that down. The extension here, cause in, which means you could build gardens, we could um, house chickens, grow um, vegetables, and um, that really helps offset the uh, the food demand that you uh, that you will come across. Um, so yeah, we've got seven timber. 
Um, so I think we will just reduce the... How many houses we build for now. Hmm. How much do we need here? We need eight, do we? Okay. Just, uh, sort of trying to find, like, the right balance. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you could build, like, really massive, like, housing plots. Um, let's see, there, it takes ten. Eight. Oh, we've got eight now. I thought like we could do that, right? Get four houses in. Let's do that. There we go. And we have a garden room as well, so we can grow some crops later on. Okay. It's a saw pit. Uh, are they getting the berries? They are getting the berries. Obviously, it's going to be really slow. Because you have to travel all the way over here. And all the way back. Which is not ideal, obviously. But... It is needed. Uh, oh, we ha we actually have started in a terrible tile, but we'll make do with it. If we fail this, um, we fail this town. We can always restart and try and knock again in a uh, in another town. But yeah, here we are. I want to build these houses first before we build the church, just to sort of stabilize the approval rating, just a little bit. And then we can, um, yeah, we can we can do the things of the stuff. So as you can see, we've set up a food store here. So the person who is collecting meat will go over uh, to their store, restock their store, or once people have demand for it, it'll restock the store, and then. Um, and then, yeah, we could start buying meat, which is a lovely job there. And, uh, yeah, we only have one family assigned as builders right now, so... Construction will take a little while. Uh, but to speed things up, you can unassign people. So the forest's heart right now is, uh, not the most important thing. So we can unassign you and they'll become builders and automatically. So it should uh, increase this a little bit. Here we are. Oh, there's the tree falling down there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I want to save up some uh, some timber for the church. But I absolutely just love watching stuff get built. Like, it's just so satisfying just to actually, like, see progress being made on construction. Uh, it's much more detailed than the uh, Sea Skylines. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, our people, our families, are starting to move into these homes as soon as they are built. There we go. So yeah, families, as you can imagine, will automatically um, move in as soon as it's done. I do want to build another um, hitching post. Now, you want to get a fair bit of ox as you can. Because um, that's going to be your bottleneck, right? Because ox are the only way of transporting your timber around. So obviously the more you have, the um, more you can move logs around, get stuff built, sort of quicker. Um, we've got five timber. I want to build another house real quick. So um, we have uh, no one's homeless. Oh my god. And you can also rotate about, but I don't, I don't like that. I want to have the house here, I think, go. Eh? So we go all the way down there. Let's see what this looks like. Very interesting shape. I think we'll do one with the um, a big garden. And 
as you can imagine, the bigger the garden, the more stuff um, you can grow. Which is obviously a very handy thing. Um, I want to assign someone to the uh, the saw pit now. Get some planks going to build the church. Fourteen animals, nice. So as you can imagine, these berries are very seasonal. Um, so during like the spring slash summertime, they will uh, will grow. And autumn, winter, they um, sort of decline and like, during like fall, winter, you won't have any berries you can harvest, so it's very key to harvest these as quick as possible, even if you don't necessarily need the food like straight away, as long as it's in storage, it's all good, because our food doesn't um, spoil, so you don't need to worry about wasting food essentially. But here we are, our person is using the uh, the timber now. Going to planks, we need 20 planks, I'm sure, right? Yeah. And during, like, when it's raining, your stock can get damaged. So, um, you just, like, lose a bunch of stuff. Usually it is food. Um, as you can see, yeah. We need firewood as well. So, let's quickly pause. We want to make ourselves a woodcutter's lodge. Um, you don't want this near your logging camp because we'll see if it's sharing the same space, it's going to be inefficient. Um, I think we'll assign this. Let's create a new path off here. I think if we do this, we could build a woodcutter's lodge here, and then it can serve this area around here so we'll get that starting to uh to be built the hitching post has been um thing so we'll buy another ox speed up production and um yeah we'll back this back on two times speed or take it's four times speed but the second speed option um See, once we've got 20 planks, we're going to unassign this guy. Just so he doesn't take up all of our timber. And yeah, as you can see, like, they really clear out the area um, fast. <laughs> Just very nice to see. Oh, there we go! Our settlement level has increased. Because we've got five houses now, this is where we need to um, upgrade to a small village. So now we get a development point, and these are very limited, so be careful on what you spend them on. Um, so as I said, we're going to do a farming slash mining um, sort of town for this tile anyway. Um, I think we're going to focus on the food and farming side of things for the time being because we don't really need to focus on mining at this uh, current moment so i think mm. these ones right here don't necessarily help you so much it's like the more the second um tier, especially the fertilization one um Although we haven't actually got any families we can assign to farms yet. So, I think we... Apples are expensive. Hmm. I think we'll go apples. And then, once we can afford it, it costs 50 regional wealth. If we go here. Uh, 50 regional wealth. Make a planter in the our biggest garden. And that will supply a lot of... Um, well, hopefully supply a lot of um, uh, apples. And, uh, yeah, I want to make this a little bit more rounded. There we go. So everyone now has moved into their houses. They are no longer homeless. This approval, um, recent stuff does take a little while to update. 
So just keep an eye on that and um, don't be worried if, you know, it's not working. <laughs> um, okay, I want to move this hitching post to next to you. I'm going to do this on highest. Just to get that over and done with. <clears throat> And uh, we've got 20 planks now, so we're going to unassign you. We don't need more um, things at the moment. More planks at the moment. So let's get the church placed down. It only costs five, which is uh, good. And I want to do this one at the town centre. So I think we put it here, right next to the market. Um, That's good. So we'll do that, we'll also... I think we'll put this, the woodcutters, on high. Um... Cause we actually really do need to get some firewood underway. Now we'll assign you temporarily again. Start placing some more trees down. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, make sure to subscribe. We do go appreciate it. Um, I've been playing this game a lot on stream. Um, so twitch.tv slash dash games 47. If you are interested in... Yes, I know we're running out of fuel. If you are interested in um, in watching this live. Um, yeah, they collect berries very slowly. I mean, it makes sense because they are miles and miles away. Uh, well, it's also a good thing to build is your sort of storage areas. So your storehouse will store pretty much everything and the granary will store all of the food items. So building both of these is very key and it will stop your stocks from getting um, from getting destroyed. I think we'll put this in, build it next to the church. I think that's a good idea. Uh, oh yes, yeah. so we'll stick the granary in right there. And once you get a lot more people in your town, it is a great idea to assign people to these. Because um, the people who saw them will actually set up stalls and sell them. Um, and that's what is actually needed for um, to upgrade your plots here. But yeah, we're going to save our regional wealth to get another ox. Um, to, okay, we'll assign... And then, oh yeah, every now and then, bandits will just come in and steal a bunch of stuff from you. Which is not too bad, but it can get annoying. Um, especially if you're like low on something. Five months worth of food. Yeah, we really need to start setting up um, farms. How's the fertilization, right? So we go farm and then hit field. Oh, that is... Perfect. Actually, we've got so lucky here. Because usually... Oh, this is a really good map for fertilization. Because the map um, I've got now, that's uh, playing on stream, is terrible. I've got an orange and red fertilization across the whole map. So, it is a great idea that we're actually going to go for some farming then. Um... Yeah, that is actually a really good, good thing. Now, seems like this is going to be a main road, so we're going to, we're going to actually increase it, extend it out a little bit. And what I like to do is sort of build, um, sort of like mini farms. So if we do one here. We can build ourselves our own field. And uh, let me go just mark it out here. Let's have like, these small fields like, dotted about the town. Makes it look... Um, makes it look a little bit more natural for like a small town, I feel. Um, good lord, okay, they're running out of trees. So as you can see here, our, um, our foresters here do you plant the trees. They do take a long while to grow. 
But as you can see here, you can actually see it growing. If you watch for long enough. <laughs> there you go. It's just jumped there. You can see the gro the trees do grow naturally. Um, and then once you have enough planted, it's sort of like a, a nice cycle. Uh, we do need wood though. So what do we want to do? Um, forage. We're not getting much berries, are we? Uh, I'm getting a little bit. Hmm. Let's unassign. Let's take a risk for now. Unassign the berries, berry people, and put them into wood cone. Get some fuel. Put them back on two times. Because what what might be a good idea is uh, these fields take a long time to um it's obviously grow it takes like a whole in game year to uh to grow stuff and uh, if you leave it on fallow it'll it'll naturally increase the fertility rate so we haven't got any farmhouses yet so we're just going to keep it as that i do like the idea of like a little farm being here i'm not gonna lie how would that look like but yeah, just don't be afraid to, like, experiment with some stuff, you know? See what works, see what doesn't work. And, uh... Yeah. Is that connecting? That is. Obviously, just be mindful of, um... The, ga uh, the, uh, the radius here. You don't want the bear, the... People, um... One way on down. You don't want the animals to... Move out. <laughs> Forest, okay. Hmm. You are assigned, okay, so you are gonna start planting some trees. There you are. Now you see this family is starting to uh gonna chop down trees, get make firewood. Basically every house needs firewood. And um every sort of workplace needs firewood as well to keep warm and operational. So yeah, just do keep an eye on that. Um, think about a little bit more housing area. If we we do this, right? We can have some more houses here. I think sixteen timber. Yeah, let's build. We've got a fair bit of timber spare at the moment. So let's make some houses. There we go. As I said, I always do try to aim for um for the garden knots. Takes a lot of pressure off, as I said. Um but our approval rating now is actually fifty percent because we've got the food market variety market food variety. So we've got multiple people selling different stuff on the market. So we're selling meat, we're selling berries, that's good. We need a variety. Um, so yeah, we'll leave that going there. Hopefully, we're fifty percent. The more um, your approval rating is, like the faster people will move move in as well. So if your approval rating is like eighty percent, it would be a lot quicker to move people in than let's say fifty percent, which is the bare minimum. <clears throat> okay. So these are the berries have stopped growing now because it's start it's in yeah we're in like summer time now. And um Yeah. If you hover over here you can actually see the description of all of the the stuff and um all the seasons and what sort of happens. So Yeah, very in depth game. I really love it. Hmm. So yeah, I'm just going to let things get built. Uh, yeah, one family building all this. Let's just do, just prioritise one thing. So we'll put high on you. Don't worry about building the houses just yet. Because we do need store stuff. No farmhouse. Oh yeah, we know that. That's fine. That is all good. We don't need to worry about the farmhouses for now. I do want to have another farm around here, I think. 
I see what that would look like. Hmm. I'm wondering, could we, like, do something funny here? Oh, we've got a new message. What does it say? Um, armament delivery. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. And you may now be able to create your first militia of banners to, uh, to serve and protect your people. However, you need more weapons to equip them all. Uh, to equip all the people. As the settlement grows, either making them, yeah, yeah, or importing them. There we go. Hit play again. Sweet. And then you get you get those weapons when you once the storehouse is finished, being built. Um, can I? Let's do highest on this on the church now. Get that. A little bit stabilised. We won't put a farm here. Unless we... Let's relocate you to... Oh, we can't because you're technically still in the way. Hmm. Can I... I want to do that. Can I move you up a bit? Hmm. We can just put it on the other side. We'll do that. And demolished buildings, that means, um, buildings will leave your supplies where it last was. And you need to wait until someone has picked all of those up for, um, to build in that area. Fresh meat. Get your fresh meat here. Nice, we've almost no got everything delivered. To, uh, to build the church. There you go. Yeah, everything's needed now. There we go. So they'll slowly um, make their way into building it. So yeah, people will automatically store, um, store their stuff that they get in the warehouses. But to actually sell them, you would assign people here. Well, see, we're going to do that just now as, um, as, um, yeah, we haven't got any of the families. Um, so we've got six months of firewood. I'm thinking this. Hmm. Don't unassign you, though. Oh, we've got someone here already. That's the look in the mum. Um Yeah, to serve that area, there we go. You'll not find finer ways anywhere else. <laughs> I just love as I said, I just love just watching stuff get built, you know? Absolutely amazing. It's just, ah, it's just so nice. Um, also, you can see the visuals change. It's very subtle. But, um, because obviously it's summertime. There's a lot less green. There's more, like, dried up grass now. Which is such a nice change. Well, a nice sort of visual change. Which is amazing. Um, something I have forget, and I always forget, is that you actually need, uh, water access. Now, currently, I, I imagine it's going to get developed um, later on. But currently, the only way to get water is through a well. And these wells have to be on an underground water area. So, um, yeah, it has to be on these. Um, luckily, we are going to expand into this area. So, I think if we do... If we place it there... Then we can sort of build paths down and um, down to it. There we go. And if any fires happen, 
in uh, you know in your town, they would run to these uh, this well, get a bucket of water, and put out the fire. Get back on two times speed here. <clears throat> Oh no. Oh, I feel like we built a little bit too close. Is it too close? You yeah, basically see they, they've moved away slightly. Which actually isn't a bad thing. But what is bad, but um I think it's because the logging camp got in the way. I'm pretty sure. Do that. But yeah, we built too much um, near the animals, so they've moved a little bit. It's not too far away. So we should be fine. Your main worry starting a new town is going to be the food. Especially if you don't have rich deposits on like the berries or, or anything. Uh, seven months. Okay, let's pause production on you. If you pause production, they will become unassigned temporarily. Um, I'm gonna get this forager's hut moved away as soon as possible. We want to collect the berries before it is um thingy winter. But there we go, our church has been uh, constructed. This will... It'll take a little bit to update, but this will greatly... Um, boost our approval rating. Also, did you guys know? If you change the sound, there's an achievement. Oh, they stole firewood, okay. That's annoying. But I wish I had to deal with it. Okay, let me work Ariel. There we go. Hopefully we'll start collecting more berries then. Uh, we do need to build these houses now. So... We'll put these in high just to make sure they do get done. Because obviously no families are going to move in. If you don't have spare houses. Um, yeah, I think we'll get these houses built. We'll, um, yeah, hopefully get some more people in, then we'll call it there for an episode. Which is a, a good start. Not the best tile we, uh, we're in, but as I said, we'll just have to uh, sort of make do with it, eh? I want to do that. There we go. I want to create another field here. There we go. I just like having, like, looking at these types of field. Um, one thing I'm going to do some. I'm going to. I'm going to do like a big uh, field for this top one. So I think if we do this. How, um, how big is this field going to be? 0.5, that's fine. There we go, we'll do that. Um, we'll leave these on fallow, increase the fertility weight, and then I think start of next year, because this is August right now. So of next year we'll, um, maybe start planting some stuff. There we go. <laughs> Spare house has been made, so it should start encouraging people to uh, to move in there. Six months of food, okay. We are getting the berries and everything, good. Oh, but yeah, I just love that. The whole ground has gone sort of a yellowish tint. So obviously all the green has, um, all the grass has died. From, uh, from the heat. There we go. And I don't be worried. It does take um, sort of a long while 
for people to move in. So if they're not moving in, again, sort of concerns. Don't worry. Uh, just don't worry. <laughs> it would all be fine. They'll move in eventually. There we go. Bandit camp was sighted. How close is that? All the way over there, okay. Because you take out bandit camps to um, get yourself some influence, which you need to sort of claim other regions. And it'll give you a little bit on into the uh, the treasury. But I think for now, we won't... Um, we won't worry about that too much. I want these supplies to be gone. Do highest on you. Because I want to build houses here. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as you, can, as you can see that, you can physically see the trees starting to regrow. Might even move the logging camp a little bit more outward now that the animals have moved slightly. Uh, we won't worry about it now. But yes, we've um, we've got a new person moved in. If you hold tab, you can see sort of the status of um, of the buildings. A new family has moved in. There we go. So now they'll be uh, available to work, which is a great success. Great success. Um, let's throw some timber. That's fine. Let's relocate you to here, and we'll relocate the forester's hut here as well to there. Highest possible, please. Thank you. We'll sign someone to the granary once it's all done. So, um, get rid of these supplies. We build more houses here. <clears throat> Just watching it build is so nice. I keep saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it. It's just so nice. There's no way to describe it. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Absolutely. Absolutely love it. There we go. Seems like only one family is working on it. Ah, you're waiting for some stone to be delivered. Okay. Oh, I see. There we go. So this family's moved on to another construction project because there hasn't been a delivery of the last stone yet. So uh, that's why. Assign you, limit the work area to, uh, we'll do it over here slightly. We'll do just over there, right? Uh, we'll do the exact same here. Slightly unfortunate, you can't look at um, the working radius. You have to like, reassign it, basically. Hopefully that is a change that um, that comes along at some point, because that would be really nice. Right. The last stone has been delivered. Now we just need um, to wait. We are going to reassign that family, actually, to them. We need more firewood. Hello. Please build. <laughs> okay. 
There we go, 62% approval rating. This will genuinely go up and up. Um, so as you play. Let's not have a builder for now. Construction. How, the well still hasn't been made. Oh. Okay, well, let's get the highest priority on that then. I thought it had been made by now. I completely forgot about that. Um, that's fine though. Might just get more people we can assign to storage. We're not in the, uh, a massive rush for that. Um, but yeah, let's get some more houses built, eh? Hmm. I do sort of wish the snapping points were a little bit more accurate. I don't know if that's a, a word you could even use, but... Yeah, we'll do that for like a baseline. Uh, the well has well, well, well has been <laughs> made. There we go. And what's really neat is if you don't build any like roads or paths, um, it would actually sort of the citizens would actually create desired paths. So then you can like see where people, well, what routes people are taking, then build. Uh, build it so it'll make it efficient, um, sort of official, you know. New family moves in, that's great. We'll sign you to the granary then. And the granary will pick up all of the food from here and, um, bring it. Granary, it's a little bit more sort of efficient storage manager. And they've actually picked up the supplies here so we can actually build, um, uh, even more houses, eh? Although I haven't picked up that. I want to do a straight line. Two, okay. Well, I guess for now, we can just do... Oh, why is that? That is weird. Uh, Yeah, we could do that. There we go. Because I want this to be a main road as well. <clears throat> but, um... A farmhouse, yeah, I know. So, um, I think we're going to call this here for, uh... For a, uh, a video then. Episode 1 at least. So we got a, uh, a really nice start. We um, got a lot of important things built. We've got the church built, which is very key. And uh, yeah, so I get a little bit more supplies. But yeah, that is all for today. And um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe, leave a comment, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.